Hello gamers, my name is Seated Gamer and welcome back to another Amonkhet booster opening video. Today we continue with the stack of 10 boosters that we got from the Amonkhet bundle. Let's get on to pack number 2, or I suppose it was pack number 1, but we rolled a 2 so we went for the second one on the stack instead. Let's see what the first pack can give us. It starts with a Minotaur Sure Shot. He's, he's pretty helpful, hopeful about our chances of a good card at the end here. He's a 2 and a red for a 2-3 Minotaur Archer with a reach, and you can pay 1 and a red to give him plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. So, worse fire breathing, but he's a 2-3 with reach in red. You don't often see reach in red, so this guy is actually pretty good. And the fact that he can just pump himself up for power, he'll take down quite a few things if you let him. Or you can just punch in real hard. He's good. I like him. He's a good card. Moving on. Anoint a priest. One and a white for a 1-3 human cleric. Whenever a creature token enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. It also has an embalm cost of three and a white. This card is a... It's a pretty good card. I don't know. I feel like... Well, a 1-3 isn't bad. Like, there's a lot of... There's a couple of X1s, it's mostly just X2s, but there's a lot of 3 power creatures, so this guy essentially just blocks twice. Worth noting that when you embalm this guy, it does trigger on itself entering the battlefield, so if you're going heavy on the embalm, this guy is probably okay, but I don't know if he does enough to splash him if you've only got like an Oketra's Monument or something. You're probably better off with a different card. Yeah, not bad, but could be better. Moving on. Tarkrop Skirmisher, one and a blue for a 2-1 Naga Warrior with Embalm of three and a blue. That being said, Anoint Priest does block Tarkrop Skirmisher pretty well. Also, you could just cast Tarkrop Skirmisher after having Anoint Priest, and the Embalm cost gets you a life. So, yeah. Not bad, but again, not really that good. One toughness is never where you want to be in this set. There's way too much that just does one to something, or puts one minus one minus one counter on a thing. Yeah, it's way too much. I mean, the Embalm does help with it, but yeah, not not the best of cards. Moving on. Pouncing Cheetah, two and a green for a 3-2 flash. Yep, it's fine. I like this card. It's a good card. Triggers monuments at instant speed. It's good. Next, Wandering Death, two and a black for a sorcery. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand with cycling of two generic mana. That is pretty good, honestly. Like, I'd be happy getting two creatures back for three mana or just drawing a new card for two. Yeah, definitely some good uses for that card. Especially if you've got things that actually care about when they die. So like Doomed Dissenter. Stuff like that. Yeah. Good card. Moving on. Binding Mummy. One and a white for a zombie. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, you may tap target artifact or creature. Very nice in the white-black zombie deck. Not bad in the white-blue embalm decks either, because the embalm does bring them back as a zombie. So, late game, pay four mana, bring back your anointed priest, gain a life, tap down their scariest thing. Hopefully swing in for some amount of damage. It is better in an aggro strategy, because it does provide you, say, hey, that thing can't block this turn, but in a more permanent way. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Moving on, though. Decision Paralysis. Three and a blue for an instant. Tap up to two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. Yeah. Look, if you're looking for control, this is a pretty good one. Four mana instant, like, their turn. Oh, uh, those two big things, that, that hasty thing you just brought in? Nah, that's not attacking this turn. Or the next turn. So, yeah. Pretty good card. Moving on, though. Hurned Kopesh. Single generic mana, artifact equipment, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, equipped for one. Yep, that's, that's an equipment. Not one I'd probably usually play, but yeah, giving something plus one, plus one for two mana permanently. Not bad. In fact, you can change it around later. It's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Uh, moving on. 
Cartouche of Ambition. Now, this is a card I would definitely play. Two and a black for an enchantment or a cartouche. Enchant creature you control. When, when Cartouche of Ambition enters the battlefield, you may put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has lifelink. Yeah, that's a good card. That's such good card. Speaking of not wanting to be on one toughness, if you Cartouche of Ambition your own creature, kill their X1, you're feeling pretty good about life. You're feeling pretty good. And the lifelink just... This is such a good card. Even if you have no trials, this is worth putting. If if you are splashing black for like one or two creatures, you probably want to splash black for a cartouche of ambition. It's it's that good. Moving on. Nef Crop Entangler. One and a red for a 2-1 human warrior with trample. You may exert it as it attacks. When you do, it gets plus one, plus two until end of turn. So two mana for a 2-1... It's like a piker, but it's got trample, so all your X1s, they only prevent one damage. Uh, and the fact that it can be a 3-3 three, three on attacks on turn 3, that can be pretty strong. Like, that just takes down your uh, your Embalm life gain guy. Yeah. I like this guy. I like this guy. He's a good guy. I like the cut of his jib. Moving on. Hapatra's Mark, moving on to the uncommon single green instant. Target creature you control gains hexproof until end of turn. Remove all minus one, minus one counters from it. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty dece. Um, turn two, exemplar of strength. Turn two, swing in, remove a counter, gain a life. Hapatra's Mark, hit you for four. It's not the strongest of plays, but it is a play. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh... I don't mind this card, like single mana, hexproof, it's kind of what you want. And removing the minus one, minus one counters is just a bit of a bonus at that point. But moving on to the second uncommon, <laughs> speak of exemplar of strength. One in a green for a 4-4 four, four human warrior. When it enters, put three minus one, minus one counters on target creature you control. Whenever exemplar of strength attacks, remove a minus one, minus one counter from it if you do gain one life. Yeah. So, like I said, turn three, swing in for four, seems pretty good. I, I quite like it. Or you can just have Patra's Mark on defense and just like, oh, suddenly this is a 4 4 and it blocks your 3 3 with trample. He's pretty decent. Moving on to the last uncommon though Stir the Sands. 4 black, black, make 3 2 2 black zombie creature tokens. Or you can cycle it for 3 and a black, and when you do cycle it, create a single 2 2 black zombie creature token. Yeah, it's okay. It's pretty good. Cycle so, like 3 and a black, draw a card, make a zombie. That's a decent card. Four black black, make three zombies. If you're on the white black zombie plan, this is a hell of a card to pick up. Hell of a card. Because it can be instant speed zombie blocker as well, which is very nice. But that's the end of our uncommon, so let's have a look at our rare for today. It's Champion of Aronis. Three and a green for a 3-3 three, three Jackal Warrior. You may exert Champion of Aronis as it attacks. When you do, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Yeah, everyone loves ramp, right? How about putting an Emrakul on the battlefield on turn 5? Is that is that enough? Is that enough for you if you get the uh, Haste Maker? Uh, and just have an Emrakul turn 4? Seems pretty good. I don't mind it. Yeah, it's a good card. It's a good card. Uh, and no, no foil, but we do get a Plains and a Warrior with Vigilance. But yeah, Champion of Ronus. Good card to have. Quite like it. That's going to be it for the booster opening for today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. It's a pretty decent booster, honestly. Like, Hapatra's Mark, Exemplar of Strength, of Strength even, Champion of Ronus, Cartouche of Ambition. It was a good pack. Good pack to get. Yeah, that's going to be it for today. I'll see you all tomorrow for booster number three from the bundle. See you then.